Hello people, welcome! Let's see quickly how to use Autodesk AutoCAD 2015 in a few and easy steps. Leave comments in case you find mistakes in our English. AutoCAD is one of the best softwares used for virtual design. We will see just the main important things you need to start with. New in this version of AutoCAD is the startup. On the left you can open templates and projects. Click on Start Drawing to start a new project. On the center all your previous projects are listed, described through a thumbnail on the workspace. Just click on it to open it. Now just open a new project to start. Let's see the workspace. It is composed by three main parts. On top you have the full list of actions and commands that this software can do, from drawing to rendering and exporting. If these occupy a lot of space, click on the icon on the extreme right to minimize. Then on the center you have your main workspace where you actually draw your objects. At the bottom you have the command line and some quick options to change the way to manage the software behavior. We will see it shortly. Let's start drawing. On top choose the home section where you have anything you need to draw and edit objects. On the left click on one between line polyline, circle or arc. The way to draw each object may vary a lot, but if you hover the buttons for a short time, a graphic explanation appears, helping you at how that particular object is drawn. Just follow the green numbered steps shown. The white arrow below an object's button shows you all the other different ways to draw it. Hover your mouse on one of these ways to see how it works. Plus you can draw polygons using the first button on the right or ellipses using the second one. Try them. Let's see how to draw an arc using the start center angle approach. The figure shows that you have to fix two points and then an angle in phase 3. A point is made when you click on your workspace, so define two points and then the angle by moving your pointer. A preview is shown, making you see the arc you are going to create. When you finish the angle, so the phase 3 the arc is made. Any object requires points, angles or distances to be drawn correctly. Follow the graphic suggestions when you are just starting with AutoCAD. Now you can understand the most important buttons in the bottom right corner. From Model, the first button shows or hides the workspace grid. The second one enables or not the grid snapping. If snapping is on, the mouse will snap to a grid point if you approach it. The third button makes you draw just horizontally or vertically. Respect to the X and the Y axes indicating in your workspace. Another important button is the square one the object snap. This rules the snappings on objects points. Disable it if you want to draw freely. AutoCAD has many ways to help you at drawing. Green squares appear when you are going to snap to an end point. Green circles for central points. Crosses for intercepting objects and green dashed lines for the main directions, the vertical and the horizontal one. Plus, 
angles and lengths are shown in grey. Many of these points appear if you have object snap on. You can choose which key points consider clicking next to the object snap icon. Once you finish at drawing an object, you may need to click again on its button to draw another one. However, it is enough to press enter from your keyboard to enable the tool again. Then, while you draw, you can simply press escape key to undo the drawing process. If you drew objects wrongly, you can delete them first. Just click on them and press Ctrl and X to cut them. So you can use Ctrl and C and Ctrl and V to copy and paste objects first in this way. When you paste, a preview is shown to make you see where you are placing the object. When no drawing tool is active, you are in selection mode. Your cross pointer is not used to draw objects, but to select and manage the existing ones. For example, if you over an object, this will be highlighted, and a white dialog box will appear, indicating you the kind of object and the layer it belongs to. Layers are very important to manage and organize projects better with a lot of objects inside. If you are interested in what are and how to use layers, watch the related video in this guide. Click on an object to select it. This will be shown in blue color. If you go to properties on the right, you can choose color, thickness, kind of line and transparency, but just to the object currently selected. If you have more objects selected, this will be applied on all of them. To select more objects, just click on them on and on. You can remove objects from your overall selection, clicking on them while holding shift down. In this case, a small minus sign appears next to your pointer. Otherwise, you can click and hold your pointer to create a personalized selection area. Any object that touches it will be straight selected. As always, press Escape key to undo all selections. You can move and edit objects first while they are selected. When you select a line, a circle or an arc, you can click on the central point to move the object, without changing anything of its lengths. The other blue square nodes are used to edit the object instead. Just click on them and watch the preview to adjust all properly. If you over these blue nodes, lengths are shown and plus a white dialog box may appear. Stretch lets you distort the object as you like. While lengthen increases the length without changing anything else, like angles or scale ratio. In case of polyline or polygon objects, things are a little different. In this case, all the blue nodes are used to edit the object, including the ones that lay on the sides, for example to convert them to curves through convert to arc. In short, there aren't points to move them directly. To move them, search for the modify section above and click on move, the icon with the four arrows. If you already selected the object, simply click on your workspace and move. But if you don't have any object selected, your mouse will turn to a small square to make you select the objects to be moved first. 
you can choose one or more of them, just as seen before. When you are done, just press Enter key and you are ready to go on with the Move tool. The other tools in Modify section work in the same exact way. So you can rotate, scale, stretch or trim what you have selected in your workspace. Objects selected together will be modified in the same way, all at once. Whenever you draw or edit objects, the command line helps you at being precise. This is located at the bottom of your workspace and also appears close to your pointer while you work with a list of sub-options. For example, if you draw a polyline, the dialog box lets you change how to draw it. You can draw it first as a polygon and then edit it to give curves. Otherwise you can use the dialog box to insert curves from the start while you draw. To use the dialog box simply use the up and down arrow keys in your keyboard and choosing the list with enter. Plus next to the dialog box you have another one where you can type inside the exact lengths you want with your keyboard. Always press Enter to apply. The measurement units used are decimal by default. You can change them clicking on the last icon at the bottom and going to Units. A new section appears where you can change the unit system decimal, polar and so on. The command line can do any action. For example, if you press the R letter, all the commands that start with an R as a name will be shown. So if you choose rotate with your arrow keys and press enter, you will activate the rotate tool. If you type scale, you will activate the scale tool and so on. Browse with the arrow keys and apply with Enter key. If you use your app arrow key, AutoCAD will show you the latest commands just done. To undo or redo actions, use the arrows in the top left corner. Once your project is done, check it. Use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out. This can be useful to draw more carefully, too. To move through your project, click on the pen tool on the right, indicated by a hand. Then just click and drag on your workspace. Use Escape to exit. Even more, you can use the 3D view cube in the top right corner of your workspace. As long as you work in 2D, just the face top is needed. This means to see your project from up to down. In this case, you can rotate your project using the hidden arrows on the right or dragging the circle around the top face. But the workspace grid is the cube on the center and this one follows the Cartesian axis fixed. This can be edited as a normal object. If rotated, the whole grid will be rotated, but not your project, and the cube is shown rotated respect to the main poles. It is a good rule to keep the Cartesian axes as they are. Remember to save your project going to Save As through the AutoCAD icon. We will see how to save and export properly in a following video. AutoCAD projects are saved as .dwg and can be opened any time later to edit your project again. Thanks for watching 
follow this guide to start creating 2D and 3D professional projects with AutoCAD 2015.